between two planes. If the vector equation of one plane is r dot n1 is equal to d1 and second plane equation of plane is this. Then angle between these two planes is n1 vector dot n2 upon magnitude of vector n1 and magnitude of vector n2. When the vector equation of the planes are given, then angle between them is n1 dot n2 upon magnitude of n1 into magnitude of n2. When the Cartesian equation of the plane is given, then Cartesian equation of plane is a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 equals to 0. a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equals to 0. When this is the form, Cartesian form is given, then angle between them is a1a2 plus b1b2 plus c1c2 upon square root of a1 square b1 square c1 square into square root of a2 square b2 square and c2 square. When these two planes are perpendicular then when planes are perpendicular then condition kya hogi a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equals to 0. And when these two planes are parallel, then the condition will be a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 equals to c1 upon c2. Now by using these formulas, by using these formulas, we will solve the question. So let us start with the question number 1. When the vector form is given of planes, then we will use this formula cos theta n1 dot n2 when Cartesian form is given then a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 that formula we will use. Write down the first statement. Find the angle between the planes vector form is given r dot 2i minus j plus k is equals to 6 r dot i plus j plus 2k is equals to 5. First compare these vector equations with the general form that is r vector dot n1 vector is equals to d1 r vector dot n2 vector is equals to d2. After comparing what we get n1 vector as 2i minus j plus k and n2 vector as i plus j plus 2k. Is it clear? Now we want to find the angle between them. Cos theta is n1 dot n2 upon magnitude of n1, magnitude of n2. Take the dot product. 2i minus j plus k dot i plus j plus 2k. Magnitude of n1 vector. 2 square minus 1 square, 1 square, 1 square, 1 square and 2 square. 2 into 1 minus 1 into 1, 1 into 2. Upon 2 square 4 plus 5 plus 1 square root of 6. 2 square 4 plus 1, 5 and plus 1, 6. 4 minus 1, so 3 by 6, 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the value of cos 5 by 3. So cos of theta is equals to cos 5 by 3. So we get angle theta as pi by 3. Now the next is find the angle between the planes x plus y plus 2z is equals to 9. 2x minus y plus z is equals to 15. Now we want to find angle between the planes. Now Cartesian form of the planes is given. Compare these equations with the general equations. C1z plus d1 equals to 0. A2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equals to 0. After comparing these equations with the general equations, we 
we get a1 as 1, b1 1, c1 2, a2 is 2, b2 is minus 1 and c2 is 1. Now angle between the planes, when the Cartesian form is given, a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 upon square root of a1 square b1 square c1 square into square root of a2 square b2 square and c2 square. Put the value a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 and c2. a1 square a, b1 square c2 square a2 square 2 square minus 1 square and 1 square. 2 minus 1 plus 2 upon square root of 6 into square root of 6. 2 plus 2, 4 minus 1, so we get 3 by 6. So cos theta is 3 by 6, that is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the value of cos pi by 3. So we get theta as pi by 3. Is it clear to everyone? Now the next one. Show that the planes 2x plus 6y plus 6z is equal to 7 and 3x plus 4y minus 5z is equal to 8 are at right angles. Compare these equations with these general equations of the plane. So we get a1 as 2, b1 6, c1 6, a2 is 3, b2 is 4 and c2 is minus 5. These planes are perpendicular if a1, a2, b1, b2 plus c1, c2 is equal to 0. So find the value of this 2 into 3 plus 6 into 4 minus 6 into 5. 6 plus 24 minus 30. So 30 minus 30 is 0. Therefore the given planes are perpendicular. The given planes are perpendicular. Minus 